Well, shout out to Let's Talk, trending hot topic. Shout out there, uh, young brother, really putting out a lot of great content. Please, please, please go subscribe to his channel. Young brother is doing things. All right, peace, YouTube. What's going on? We back with another video. We about to dive right into it. But before we do that, please make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell notification icon. That way you'll be notified every time I upload the latest and greatest. Now, with that being said, let's dive right into this video. So, I don't know if many of y'all peep, but Dr. Umar, he been doing his runs a whole lot lately here on YouTube and social media alike. Um, just recently, I posted a video with him you know, being stopped and searched in the Carolinas by police. But just after that, he just recently made a video pretty much coming at the black manosphere. You know, he said that it wasn't everyone in the manosphere, but, you know, he's talking about the overall majority of the people. And that's important because, you know, Dr. Umar, he has a history of, you know, speaking on the manosphere. You know, just last year, he was calling them the black YouTubians, but now he actually mentioned the Manosphere by name, so that's, that's that. But, you know, he's still on his crusade to, you know, uh, I guess go against the talking points in the Manosphere, which is funny because he got some of the same talking points nowadays, kind of just like Kendra J. You know, everyone seen to switch up their tone over the past 12 months, over the recent, you know, things that's been happening throughout the country as far as relationships and, you know, the, 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 the hypeness that's going on. But I think it's funny. So I'm, I'm going to play this little clip for y'all, let y'all hear this, and uh, let's pick it and, and dive right into it and see what we come up with. Fair use. Alright, flag on the payroll fast. So y'all hear how he said, you know, don't disrespect that first. Just to try to make it seem like he watered down a little bit and said like how he, he knows not everyone. But a lot of these guys are just mad at black, black women pretty much because they can't get them. I'm paraphrasing. But let's talk about that because, you know, there is some truth to that. There are men in this sector who seem to got it confused with these incel extremists and believe that uh you know bashing women and all that stuff is good and they think that they seem to think that that's what the whole talking points of the red pill community and kevin samuels and all that stuff is all about i know that just from the kevin samuels groups that's on facebook because i'm the admin of, of several of them and we got a lot of dudes inside there just coming in here just to bash women and i'll be having to block them because you know it's just about the conversation and i think that's where Dr. Umar got it confused too, and a lot of other people too. You know, there are some in the sector, like I said, who got it confused, but the majority overall people, you know, we're, we're trying to rebuild. You know, we're all about growth, development, trying to, you know, hold accountability and standards to both parties, male and female alike. You know, try to get some type of resolution so we can build back a family union because we are aid out out here <laughs> like it's going it's, it's no more so i think that's where he got it can confuse that um dr umar but let me just finish listening to what he's saying and uh let's chop it back up that's not a political problem that's a beta male self-development issue 
it's a beta male self-development. Don't get mad at black women because you can't get the ones you want. You understand me? Now, if we got issues with sisters, and we do. All right, so I'm going to cut it off right there. So now, I like how you said, now we got issues with sisters, and we do because we do got issues. But like I said, I think he's confusing just the people in the comment sections, for real, for real. I think he might be looking at these people lives or their videos and, and, and reading the chats and seeing how the people are going because the actual, the head runners in these sectors, the one who's actually talking and making the videos or making the points, there's no bashing really going on, for real, for real. Like, uh, unless he's just, you know, blindly just saying that because there is no bashing. And you got even got females in this sector, you know, who who's saying the same thing. So is he saying they're bashing too? Is he calling out the females? Because I don't hear him never mention anything about females when we have more and more females in this space. So I mean, I think that's weird to me. But you know, all in all, it is what it is. That's his opinion. Um, you know, I ain't go, I ain't going, you know, diss talk to Umar or nothing like that. I, I respect him. Although, uh, you know, I disagree with, you know, some of the stuff he say, but I've mentioned this before in the past and I'll say it again. You know, he, he, he speak and do for the community and that you got to hold, hold him. You got to give him his props for that. You got to give him his crown. But, you know, it is what it is. That's all I got to say on this video. Y'all let me know what y'all thoughts are. Um, make sure y'all drop your comments down below. Um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And also hit that bell notification icon. That way you'll be notified every time I upload the latest and greatest. And prayerfully I will see you in the next video. Alright, God bless all y'all. Peace.